Yo, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I designed this amazing and very simple ready to print ID card using Figma free prototyping tool. So, without further ado, let us get on with designing. And please, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscription button below, drop your comment, share this video so that YouTube algorithm will find it useful and recommend it for other users just like you. Welcome back. I'm very excited to get started with you. So the very first thing we are going to do is to draw a frame on the screen. And this frame is going to have a width of 368 by 556 pixel. So um, to pick a frame, just come to this frame tool, select it and just draw your frame. Now let us look at what the the width is 368, 368, 368, and the height is 556, 556, just like that. So the next thing for us to do is to have a plating area. A plating area will help you in terms of printing, even though you print, um, even though the cutting while printing is, um, is beyond the margin. You won't have any issue with your designs. You won't have any issue with the core details that you have in the ID card. So for you to create a blading area, this is what you're going to do. Figma has something called layout grid. Just click on this plus icon from the grid 10 pixel or something. Change this grid to columns. Change the count to six. And the margin is going to be 15. So the bleeding the bleeding area is going to be 15 pixel. So this is what I mean by the bleeding area. You see this area right here is 15 pixel, and that is the bleeding area. That is going to be our printing area. So that being said, this is for the uh, the left hand and the right hand side. We need to have for both top and bottom. So again, click on this layout grid plus icon from grid, change it to rows. Now again, just the way you did for column, change this to six, and the margin should be 50 pixel, just like that. Now, this is what we are going to do. All your designs, all, our, all, all everything we are going to be doing in this tutorial is going to be between this area. You see, we are this thick line. So that is where all our designs are going to be. We are going to house it inside this particular area. So now that we are through with setting up our working area, the next thing for me to do is to create, uh, to start my design. So I'm going to have header rectangle and footer rectangle. So right now I'm going to be drawing these rectangles on the screen. So I picked my rectangle tool. So I'm going to draw inside this particular frame. I'm going to fill the width of the frame. So let me rename this frame to front, front ID. So with that, uh, the height, I've already calculated the height. The height is going to be 63 pixel, while the color of that rectangle is going to be this. Oh, sorry. 63 pixel, height is 63 pixel, and the color is this. The color is 8B036D. Then another rectangle is going to be on the footer. Let me rename this to header or rectangle. I'm going to duplicate this, move it down. Um, the height of this one is going to be 105. The height of the footer rectangle is going to be 105. And the color is going to be 637300. Height is 105. I'll change the color. Um, yeah. 
this is now next thing for me to do is to draw is to have um, something to hold my my passport I'm going to have my passport like this so with that i'll be able to let's give it an image a passport i'm going to be using my picture i'm going to be using my picture as the passport okay now that we are through with that I need to draw another rectangle on the screen. This is another rectangle. But this rectangle will go below. This rectangle will be below the passport. And I'm going to give it a color of yellow. Give it a yellow color. Now that I've rotated this by 90 degree, I'm going to duplicate it. I will duplicate this one and I'll rotate it off. So likewise, just like this one. So this is going to be minus 90. That's to give me an S. To give me an S shape. Just like that. I'm going to be reducing the size. Then I'm, I'll group it to control G to group. Now centralize horizontally. Then I'll write my logo text. It's going to be Pino. Centralize horizontally and move it closer to this. I'll still reduce the size of the icon. I'll move it down. Select the both of them and control G to group. Now rename this to logo. Now that I have renamed this to logo, um, I think we are done right here. We are done. We are done with the footer. Now I have to get the name and the designation of the person holding the ID card. Alt caps. Let's increase the font size of, let's change it to. 40, I'm going to be using 40 as the font size. I will do Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now, give it the smart. Now, the smart is going to be, I reduce the font size of the smart. This should be, let's give it 24. Let's see if that is okay. That really works. I'll select the boat and line left. I'm going to have a designation Ctrl D to duplicate. And this is going to be regular and it's going to be capitalized. So, uh Products designer. Just like that. I'm going to move this up a little. I think this is better like this. 
as better. Okay, the next thing for me to do is to have um, both the staff ID, the, um, the email and phone numbers. So to do that, I'm going to have a rectangle to signify. Okay, I'll duplicate this. Uh, be oh, sorry, before I duplicate, I'm going to... Now that I have this one, I'm going to write on the... This, and I'll give it ID. 16 and I'm going to make it bold because this needs to be bigger align center now I need to duplicate this ID also or instead of duplicating I'm going to use the same font size with the product designer the designation and I'm going to put it here and this is going to be the staff ID. Let us select all and control G to group. Now that we group them, I'm just going to rename it to ID. Control D to duplicate the group. This is going to be phone number. duplicate that one and this is going to be email so the email is going to be info at minusman.com just like that you can add any email you want and voila we are true with the front design of the id card it is as simple as this so now that i am true with the front design the next thing for us to do is to do the back design so i'm going to duplicate this but instead of doing that uh, to save time i'm going to show you the ones that i have done before as you can see, I've done this before. This and this is basically what I did for the back um, design. I'm going to duplicate this, and now I will remove all these ones. Or re remove the name. Just like that. Then the this one's also, I'll remove them. Take this to the to the left and this to the right. And I'm going to re reduce this size. Also, increase the height. This should come to this area. Then the logo should be up. As the logo is up, I'm going to change the color to black and I missed something. This should be black. So the next thing I did was to increase this side. After increasing it, then I added a barcode rectangle you can add your barcode here this is 140 by 140 40 by 140 just like that your barcode can be there then we have expiry date and this particular um, text here. I'll just duplicate that and break it down. 
and here we are we are true with um, the ID card design this is how you design your simple ID card in Figma so you can change the design you can flip it around to suit your your needs but as for me this is what I'm going with hope you enjoy watching this video please do subscribe and turn on the notification don't forget to share also